Welcome to our next video. This time we'll be talking about return on equity. There are different ways of computing, of calculating return on equity. First one, return on equity is equal to this fraction, net income here divided by average shareholders equity. So net income, as you know, equals revenue, all revenues minus all relevant costs, including depreciation. And afterwards, subtracting taxes. So after subtracting costs, depreciation and taxes, we get net income. Net income divided by average shareholders equity equals return on equity. Because net income is the income that belongs to equity, that belongs to shareholders. So it's relevant. This fraction is relevant to shareholders. That's the first way, that's the first way to calculate return on equity. There's a different one. There's a different one that's important and that uses expanding fractions. Because if you expand by revenues, for example, if you multiply the numerator and if you multiply the denumer, denu, denominator, by revenues, you get this one, net income divided by revenues multiplied by revenues divided by average total assets, which again is just a way of expanding this fraction, because first you expand by revenues, second you expand by average total assets. So if you cancel again after expanding, you can of course re-cancel. If you re-cancel this and this, you just get net income divided by average shareholders equity, which is the first way of calculating, of computing the revenue, the return on equity. So this way is totally the same as this way. So first way here, second way. This is the second way to compute return on equity. Now there's a third one. There's a third way of computing, and again, it's just a question of expanding the right way. Of expanding, for example, with operating income. We have operating income here, and we have the operating income there. That's first thing to know. Then, so we start here, and we expand, for example, with the operating income. Then, look at here, look here. 1 minus taxes divided by income before taxes. If we look at 1 equal to income before taxes minus divided by income before taxes, we get income before taxes minus taxes, which is again net income. Income before taxes minus taxes equals of course net income. So here, the numerator, the numerator put in those brackets is just net income divided by income before taxes. So income before taxes here and income before taxes there can just be canceled again. So you can cancel. You can cancel revenues here and there. You can cancel income before taxes divided by income before taxes. And you can cancel average total assets divided by average total assets. So we just expanded those fractions and we can, of course, recancel it. So that is just the third way to compute return on equity, consisting of those five fractions. One, two, three, four, five fractions. We put it a bit complicated, but that's the way it is sometimes. Thank you for watching.